How to use the basic AMC template. You can use this template in two ways. First, you can use the files found in the basic AMC folder. Each of the files contain the same function blocks, but may have an example or a different target device. Select the appropriate file to start with. Second, way to use it is to install it. Both methods of using this template will give you the same starting point. Which method you select is more of a preference than anything else. Now that it is installed, we can now open Machine Control Studio. Because we have installed this template, we will see a new category called Basic AMC under a new project. There are three main folders under the Basic AMC category. Under Application Modules, you will find the MCI 200 and MCI 210. Under Examples, you will find small demo programs such as Analog to Position. Under Uni Drive M, you have each drive option. Let's write a small indexer program using M700. After selecting the M700 and giving the project a name, click OK. Now that we have a project, let's look at what this template has given us. Under Setup, there are basic blocks for setting up user units and the AMC. Under Variables, you will find things like System Position or Movement Complete Flags. Under Commands, you will find things like Absolute Index or Homing Commands. The Basic Drive Library contains many of the common drive parameters that one would use if you're writing code. Having the drive's parameters mapped in a global variable list allows for quick and easy manipulation of parameter names. This is convenient when renaming parameters to fit the application. Suggestion If using the digital inputs in your drive's logic, it might be necessary to map the digital I.O. destinations to 0.00. This is to prevent the removal of the drive's run command, while commanding motion using the AMC. The network I've selected is here as part of the template. This network is used to set up the AMC in the drive. Because the AMC is set up using parameters, this network is not required. This network is here as a convenience and can be removed to save code space. This block is used to set up the user units. Currently the user units are 3600 for each turn of the motor. The program I'm going to write uses two digital inputs. The first input will start the index after the input turns on. This input will also stop the index after the input turns off. The second input will start and stop the jog, the same way as the index. To start, we will drag two boxes that have enables to the network. Now that we have these boxes in our program, we can drag the required index and jog from the POU section to replace these boxes. The next step is to map our contacts to our inputs. Remember back in the basic drive library, we rename the digital inputs to start index and start jog. We also need to set up the inputs to each of the blocks. I'm going to use a positive edge contact and a negative edge contact to control these two blocks. The rising edge contact prevents the index from indexing continually. If we need to dynamically change settings we can map the block inputs to drive parameters. Now that the index is done, we can do the exact same thing for the jog logic. I used the hotkeys P and N to change the contact type quickly. For more information about the blocks, you can open them and see all the code including some notes. The blocks can also be modified to fit your application. Before we end this video let's build the application and see that there are no compiler errors.